BestBookBits.com brings you Success in 50 Steps, the proven formula that works, written by myself, Michael George Knight, bringing you Chapter 11, Use Your Mind. Before we jump in, if you want a copy of this book for free, yes, for free, click the link below where I can send you this in PDF, or I can send you the physical book to your door. On with the chapter. Chapter 11, Use Your Mind. It is the mind that maketh good or ill, that maketh rich or happy, rich or poor. Edmund Spencer. The mind is the seat of consciousness, the essence of your being, a formless continuum that functions to perceive the world, to think and to feel. This non-physical wonder we call the mind is the greatest tool we possess in our human toolbox. It can be used to create or to destroy, to love or to hurt, to uplift or to put down. It can be peaceful or vengeful, a tool for positivity or negativity, a magical invisible tool that is held by everyone and is activated by choice and free will. Your mind is an awesome quantum computer, and you are the programmer. You can program your mind, or your mind can program you. You can d- direct your thoughts, or have your thoughts direct you. You can master your mind, or have your mind master you. It's all up to you. Software and hardware. You cannot change the size of your brain, aka hardware, but you can change the software, aka mind. Changing your mind, pun intended, is the one thing you can do by changing the software you install. We all have very similar brains as a species, but what makes us different individually is the software we have downloaded into our minds, and how we are wired. The experiences you have had have formed your current way of thinking and understanding, and your future experiences will form your future thoughts and understanding. It's all binary and math. Input equals output. After a certain age, you're in charge of recording and updating your software. Don't let other people program you. Program yourself. Rule your mind or it will rule you, Horus. Feed your mind. If you don't plant flowers in the garden of the mind, then you'll forever be pulling weeds. John D. Martini. You have the power to program your mind with the information you consume. Initially, the quality of output action is largely determined by the quality of input information we take into our mind. If you are not deliberately programming positive information into your mind, I can bet you you are being fed a mental diet of negativity. If you start to control and program your mind, your chances of manifesting your dreams and achieving successes are just a matter of time. Feed your mind constantly with the best information like an athlete would consume the best nutrition for their body. You want to consume the best information for your mind. Garbage in, garbage out. Quality in, quality out. Read the best books on the planet. Listen to the most successful and motivational people in the world. Listen to the best audio books and follow the best podcast shows. Follow the best YouTube channels and learn from people more educated on subjects than you. Attend the best seminars and workshops to develop your mind and network with people who will take you to the next level. Your mind is a dry sponge, always ready to soak up anything you give it. The mind will produce whatever ingredients you pour into it. Feed it with the best, and you will become the best version of yourself. Feed it with the average, and you'll become an average version of yourself. It's all on you to determine what you feed yourself mentally. If you take great care of your mind, your mind will take great care of you, and you will be rewarded with peace of mind, the ultimate prize. A mind that is stretched to a new experience can never go back to its old dimensions. Oliver Wendell Holmes Recap so far. To recap the previous chapters, I want you to be clear about what we have covered and what we'll be covering in the upcoming chapters. We started the journey of success in 50 steps by taking the first step, realizing your dreams, uncovering your passions, and making a list of your desires. We found your purpose and turned your dreams, passions, and desires into meaningful goals. We then mapped out your goals with the power of planning and time. We explored knowledge and how creativity and ideas shape our lives, as well as explored the power of the mind. In the upcoming chapters, we'll take a look at thoughts and the power of faith. Understand how we are shaped by beliefs we hold and our attitude about life itself. We learn the secrets of gratitude and giving, living in a state of abundance and prosperity, then understand the secret law of attraction how to manifest your dreams into reality through action. Remember, the mind is the greatest tool we possess in our human toolbox. 
Your mind is an awesome quantum computer, and you are the programmer. You can program your mind, or your mind can program you. Change your mind by changing the software you install. Feed your mind constantly with the best information, just like an athlete would consume the best nutrition for their body. And last, your mind will produce whatever ingredients you pour into it. And that's wrap on this chapter, chapter 11, Use Your Mind. Stay tuned for the next chapter, chapter 12, Direct Your Thoughts. Now, if you want a copy of this book, I will be giving this book away for free. So click the link below where you can download this in an ebook format, or I can deliver the physical book to your door. Thanks for watching and listening. Take care, go out there and use your mind.